Do you want a soap opera? You want a real life soap opera? We have one right here. We've got romance, we've got excitement, and rejection. All the things you'd find in a soap opera. We're gonna find one man, one woman, put them together, send them on a big date. I'm Mark Wahlberg. Welcome to The Big Date. As you know, all of today's players are here because they want to hook up with a member of the opposite sex. It's going to happen. They will hook up, and when they do, they have a chance to go on a really big date that we pay for. <laughs> now, you well know by now that temptation lurks behind every door. There is the chance. As a matter of fact, it is likely that somebody will get dumped in this episode today. Oh. No. Now, see... You groan and I look forward in anticipation. What's wrong with that? Let's meet our first player, Brandy Stevens, 23-year-old elementary education student. Here she is. Hi, Brandy. You look lovely. Welcome. We're going to bring out some guys for you to meet in a moment, but Brandy, what are you looking for in a guy? Tall, dark, and somebody I can just kick it with. <laughs> oh, yeah, you want somebody kind of laid back, huh? Well, laid back, but I want to have fun. I'm an athlete, so I always like to do workout stuff and just go do active stuff, really yeah. active, so. You say tall because, of course, you're pretty tall. How tall are you? Six feet. You're six feet tall. With the heels, I'm six three. Well, there you go. <laughs> Three guys I want to introduce to you to right now. Let's say hello to him quickly. Greg Fennell. He's 27 years old. He's a cable TV dispatcher. Yeah! Greg, come on out. Next, I want you to meet a 21-year-old salesman, Daryl Forrest. Let's bring Daryl out right now. Hi, Daryl. Welcome to the show, man. Good to see you. Next guy is 23 years old. He's a commercial diver, and his name is Richard West. Come on out, Richard. Right this way, Richard. All right, we've got three gentlemen here. We're going to find out a little bit about them, and then you'll make your choice. Okay. Pretty happy so far? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, we'll start with you, Greg. You're on a date with a lovely lady like Brandy. How do you make her feel special? Hi, Brandy. Hi. How are you? Good. I make her feel special by making an eye contact with her and mm -hmm. calling her by her name. That's so cool, because if you call her by somebody else's name, <laughs> she may not answer. That may be a problem. <laughs> yeah, that would be a problem. The eye contact thing is good, huh, Brandy? Uh -huh. What about you? What do you like to do on a first date to make a girl kind of feel special? Well, I like to take her to, like, the beach or something and show her, like, some nice scenery, you know, and show her a little something new that she hasn't seen before. Something new she hasn't seen before. Yeah. What about you, Richard? What do you like to do to make a lady feel special on a date? Well, basically, uh, give her a lot of, a lot of uh, communication, make her feel special, you know, give her, give her a lot of love, basically. Give her a lot of love. Yeah! You can always yeah. some more love, right? Well, you've heard of the guys, each one very handsome in their own way. you got to pick the guy you want to get to know a little better, Brandy. Who's it going to be? Go for Greg! I think I'm going to pick Greg. Greg? All right, Greg. Come on up. Right over here. What, uh, what was it about Greg that made you want to choose him? His height. His height. And his suit. And his suit. Well, it... You're tall enough and you're the right clothes, and that's why you're standing up here. But there's some other stuff behind all that dressing. The eye, the eye contact, I think, was the key. Oh, I yeah. like to make eye contact myself. Well, that's good. You're doing key. it right now. Here, uh -huh. let me move out of the way. <laughs> all right, very good. Put Jeez. your hands on those buttons. Look straight ahead. If you guys match, two answers are the next questions I'm going to read to you. You're our first lucky couple. Then you move on and win that big date. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. I'm oh, so glad to hear that. You're dining at a nice restaurant with your date, and your steak arrives almost raw. Would you A, keep silent, need it anyway, or B, have a cow and send it back? Yeah. There you go. Pretty good. You're pretty demanding in a restaurant? Um, not overbearing. I like, you know, we're paying, so I'd like to be accommodated. There you go. You know. But it's your choice now, Greg. You could stay with Brandy, but before you make that choice, say hello to Nikaya Turner. She's 22 years old. She's a communications major. <laughs> And there's yet another lovely lady back there. She's 23 years old. She's a broadcasting student, as if you needed any more choices. Nikki Bascom is back there. Come on out, Nikki. Yeah. Nikia, what do you like to do to make a guy like Greg pick you? 
What do you like to do on a date to make him feel special? Um, I like to have lots of fun, and I like to try new things, and I love spontaneity. Spontaneity. Yeah. Spontaneity, that's good. How about you, Nikki? What do you like to do on a date to make a guy feel kind of special? Pretty much just give him my undivided attention. Ah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Greg, your choice. Which one of these ladies would you like to get to know better? Stay with Brandy, yeah. Nikki, or Nikki? Randy says, good choice. Why did you stay? I love the height, and she seems like she has a good heart. Really? Yeah. I, I can hear a beating from here. <laughs> Which is always a good sign. One You're more right welcome. answer. You guys are a couple. Between the two, what are, your, what are you more likely to hide in your bedroom? A, a secret stash of money, or B, a secret stash of sex toys? What are you more likely to hide in your bedroom? You wouldn't tell me even if you were hiding, would you? Because you know. Congratulations, you guys. That's our first lucky couple. We'll take a good break. Find out who our next couple is going to be right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to The Big Date. Hey, Brandy and Greg have already hit it off. They're sitting right back there. Let's check in, shall we? How's it going, you guys? Cool. <laughs> yeah? Everything's cool. going great. Yeah? yeah? You seem thrilled about this, Greg. We're getting to know each other a little bit. Oh, cool. It's so a little private moment back there in yes. the window. Yes. That's why we designed this window, is that after the excitement is over, you can kind of get to know one another. So in, <laughs> take, take the time and use it wisely as we get our second couple going here with Daryl. You the man, Daryl. Come on up. You ready? Oh. Right. right over here. You've got Nakia and Nikki. The names are a little bit the same, but they are entirely different women. You've met them both. You've heard a little something about them. One of these ladies may have already sparked your interest, Daryl, but I'll let you know behind the door could be the woman of your dreams or possibly your nightmares. I don't know, Daryl. What are you going to do? I'll take... Uh, Nikki. 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 Nikki, come on up. He chose you. What was it about Nikki that you liked? She seemed real nice and stuff, just from looking at her. Yeah. So I just said, I'll try. There you go. Would you like to see the lady you didn't choose? Could be the woman of your dreams back there. Yeah, sure. Let's bring her out. This is the lady you did not pick. Oh! Why, this is Fern Dinkle. Hi, Fern. I'm so sorry it didn't work out. You want to say hello to Daryl anyway? All right, you guys, get two right answers. You're our second couple. Good luck. Finish this statement. I think someone who goes to McDonald's on a first date, A, knows a good value when they see it, or B, is one fry short of a Happy Meal. So now, Nikki. Nikki, tell me. This guy picks you up, okay? He is the most gorgeous guy you have ever gone out with. I mean, just the perfect guy, and he takes you to McDonald's. What are you going to do? I think I'd stick the fries up his nose. Oh, yeah? Doesn't matter how good looking it is, huh? No. You would never do that, would you, Daryl? Of course not. Of course not, especially after hearing that. <laughs> one right answer. Get another one right. You guys are a couple, but it's your choice, Nikki. You want to stay with Daryl? We'll let you do that. Or... Richard might be the guy for you. You've been sitting there across from one another, maybe something connected that I missed. By the way, behind the door is, an, is a guy who could be the perfect guy for you, Nikki. You know how it works. Who do you want to be with? I think I'm going to take the door. You're going to take the door. All right, Daryl, have a seat. Will they ever learn? Fern comes out of this door. Her brother, Bert, might be around the corner. We never know, Nikki. Let's see who's back there for Nikki. Nikki, I want you to meet David Bailey. He's 23 years old. He's a food server. All right, David, put your hands on those buttons. You guys might connect, get a couple right. You're a couple. Your hot new date invites you in for a nightcap, but their apartment has a funky odor. <laughs> Would you A, hold your nose and flop down on the couch, or B, back your butt up and call it a night? <laughs> you know, David... Everybody's house has their own sort of funky smell. You know that, right? Yep. But if you, you walk into the girl's house, just isn't right, you're going to leave? 
Yeah, I think I would. Yeah. But most girls I've been in their house, and they usually smell pretty decent. So you want me? I, I haven't been. <laughs> you know why? I haven't been disappointed. Yeah, you know why women's houses smell better? Why? They're obsessed with potpourri. <laughs> That's probably true. It's something I've learned. You guys have one right answer. One more right answer. You guys are a couple, but it's your choice now, David. You could stay with Nikki if you like, but Nikki is sitting right over there. She might be more the kind of girl that you like to date. I don't know. And behind the door is another lady. We have so many of them, just like this. Wow. They just keep coming. She could be the perfect woman. Right I think I'm going to go for the door. You are. I'm gonna go for the door. It's only fair, Nikki. You went for the door, and David's going to do the same. So you can have a seat. All right, you're gambling there. Let's see if the gamble pays off. This is your mystery lady. Come on out and say hello to David. Wow. Hi, Tamiko. David, I want you to meet Tamiko Gray. She's 18 years old. Political science student, right? You're going to be a lawyer eventually? Yes. You are. Very good. Well, let's not let it get yet. Put your hands on the buttons. Two right answers. You guys are a couple. While you're at your date's house, you discover a scrapbook containing nude photos of their former flames. Would you, A, close the book on the relationship, or B, strip off your clothes and give them a Kodak moment? So you would say, if you take pictures of your former mates, you're too freaky for me, you're out of there, right? Sure. I, well, if I ran across it, I don't want to see that. No, you don't want to see it. <laughs> but on the other hand, you, you would just say, I'm page 10? Well, I mean... <laughs> You don't think it's too freaky? Yeah. No, I, I mean, there's nothing, nothing dirty at all about the naked body. <laughs> all right, let's see how you do on this one. What are you really looking for when you date someone, you guys, right now? A, a person to share your life with, or B, a person to share your bed with? <laughs> Unless you plan to spend your whole life in bed, you didn't match on that one. Unfortunately, that was too wrong. It's not going to happen. You took a gamble. Have a seat, you guys. It didn't happen. Nikia, come on up. Got some fans out there, it sounds like. Nikia, we've got three handsome gentlemen over here. You saw David, came out from behind the door. Now he's sitting there, a choice for you possibly. Daryl's sitting right over there, a handsome guy with a nice smile when he smiles. Smile, there he is, see that smile? <laughs> And then you got Richard over here. He hasn't spoken since the beginning, but he is a terrific guy. And maybe the guy you've been eyeing the whole time. Which guy you want to date? I'll take Richard. No, is that right? Come on up, Richard. Why Richard, Nakia? Because he's cute. Is he cute? Yes, he's really cute. Have you been I told? like his eyes. Do you? Because he's been eyeing you the whole time. <laughs> I've seen it. Well, you know, Richard... I, I noticed, because it's my job, that you kind of were, you were short on words, but anytime time something was going on, you were kind of doing the eye thing. Eye yeah. contact is great. Yeah, that works. All right, good, good luck, you guys. Put your hands on the buttons. Two right answers, you're our second couple. Which would upset you more if your mate, A, opened up a private letter, or B, took a naked photo of you without you knowing? Yeah, you don't want to open someone's mail. <laughs> but on the other hand, if he's sneaking around your house taking pictures of you naked, that's okay? No, but I would rather not have my mail violated than... <laughs> well, I mean, you know, somebody could have written you something very private. That's right. Very good. You got one right answer, you guys. You're thinking on the like. You stay together, get the next one right. You're a couple, but it's your choice now. You want to stay with Nakia, or is it going to be Nikki or Tamiko? What do you think, Richard? I'm stay right here. You can stay right here. All right, guys, good luck. Finish this statement. When I make love, it usually lasts A, the better part of an evening, or B, about the time it takes to microwave popcorn. I'm glad to hear that, you guys. Congratulations. Hey, there's our second couple. Which couple's meant to go on the big date? Well, we'll find out right after this. Stay with us, guys. Welcome back to the big date. I was just saying in the commercial break that we are fortunate to have two beautiful couples sitting here. We've got uh, Greg and Brandy over here on my left. And 
this, this is cool because, you know, I, as the show goes on, I kind of want everybody to have a good time. And Richard was sitting over there and nothing was really going on. And Nakia was sitting over there and nothing was really going on. But they hooked up and it's working now, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, guys, now we're going to find out who gets to win the big date. We're going to find out who's most compatible. I'm going to read you some statements. If the statement I read sounds like it's true about you, hold up the card that says me, okay? If it's not true about you, hold up the card that says not me, yeah. okay? The couple that matches the most moves on to the next round wins the big date. Are we clear? We're clear. Roger. Here we go. Me or not me? When I'm dating someone, I like to talk to them every day. Oh! Yeah. Richard. <laughs> Do you call or do you wait for them to call? No, um, you know, it works out. I like to communicate, like I said. I call them. It's no problem. Let you know, them know. Gotta let them know what's on your mind. Very good. Me or not me, I've had a birthday party for a pet. <laughs> they don't know the difference. <laughs> me or not me, I've loaned more than $100 to a friend. Wow. Yeah! <laughs> How much have you loaned to a friend, Brandon? The most you've ever loaned to someone. Thousand bucks. Did you? Damn. <laughs> well. <laughs> Jackpot. <laughs> me or not me, I'm afraid of growing old. Yeah! That's a hundred bucks. Nothing to be scared of. We're all going to die anyway, right? There you go. There you go. Me or not me, I've gone Christmas caroling as an adult. Oh, man, you know, I'm Jewish and I've been Christmas caroling. <laughs> you did? Mm -hmm. How long ago? Last year. What's your favorite carol? Um, oh, Christmas tree. A lovely one. You know what my favorite carol is? What? Burnett. <laughs> <laughs> me or not me, I type with two fingers. <laughs> me or not me, I have gotten naked in front of my friends. We've got winners over here. Brandy and Greg have done it. We'll take a quick break and find out how big your big date's going to be in just a minute. Stay with us. If you or someone you know has herpes, then this is important to watch because the product I'm going to share with you is guaranteed to work. It's called Azurex. There is no cure for herpes, but there is something guaranteed to stop outbreaks provide soothing relief, and accelerate healing. In this attack pack, there are five individual swabs. They are easy to carry and easy to use. Just snap it to activate it. If you feel an outbreak coming on, apply Azurex after that first tingle and immediately feel the relief. So if you're looking for something that's powerful, natural, and really works, then order Azurex now. We started with a whole lot of people, but we have one fine couple who won the game. Brandy and Greg have done it, you guys. Yeah. Now let's find out how big your big date's gonna be. Here's how we're gonna do it. Before the show, you gave our producers some very personal information mm. that you want us to share with the world. Mm. So we shall do that. What you have to do is tell me if the statement I read about your date is true or false. Every time you write, you get $50 towards that big date. And if you get at least four out of six right, you get a chance to come back on Friday and draw for a trip to Sandals Resort in Jamaica. You fly there on Air Jamaica. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> true or false, Brandy attended college on a full scholarship. True. You think that's true? Brandy? Yes, I did. You yeah. did? <laughs> One right. Let's see if we can get some more money going here. True or false, Greg once worked for an escort service. False. You think that's false? Yeah. She chuckles. Greg? True. <laughs> You got one right for $50. Okay. Let's get some more money Come going. True or false, Brandy is turned on by a man with a bald head. I'm going to say true. Really, Brandy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Might be worth it. 100 bucks. Here we go again. True or false, Greg has spent more than $500 <laughs> on a gift for his date. True or false, Brandy? <laughs> I think false. You think false? Yeah. Greg? True. True. What? Oh, God. <laughs> really? $100, you guys. Let's see if we can get something else going. Oh, True or false? Brandy once made love on a roller coaster. Whoa. False? 
Brandy? <laughs> no, I've never done that. Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that possible? <laughs> True or false, Greg once made love for eight hours straight. <laughs> oh, and you got to laugh. She laughs? I'm sorry. I know. Um, <laughs> true. And then she says true after the chuckle. Greg, could it be? After some ginseng tea, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the power of ginseng. You did it, guys. Congratulations. Come with me. All right, you got uh, four right for $200. And uh, by the way, your commission on the sales of ginseng tea from now on should be very high. <laughs> we'll see you on Friday. We'll draw for that trip to Jamaica. Well, with 200 bucks, any idea where you're going to go on your date? Well, she wants to go to a nice little restaurant here, and uh, she likes seafood, so we'll see what we can do. Yeah. Gladstone's. Gladstone's, Gladstone's is a beautiful restaurant here in California. I think yeah. you'll enjoy that. Great seafood. Mm -hmm. Been there. Done. Have a lovely time, you guys. Give them a nice round of applause. Let's bring everybody else out from backstage. And that is all the time I get to spend with you today here on The Big Day. But if you join me tomorrow, I'd love to see you right here for more of The Big Day. Bye, folks. Provided by Bernini. <laughs>